Hey, it's Dr. Nick Tulo. Here I am in my brand new recording studio. So I thought I'd give you the 50 cent tour cause I've been working for months on getting this up and running. So it's a really cool space. It's right below the kitchen. So if I knock three times on the ceiling, maybe my wife will bring me a sandwich. Anyway, this is like, it's all sort of like treated with uh, sound absorbing panels. So it's all kind of quiet and no echoes. I, the, there's mood lighting, so it's really kind of a nice place to kind of hang out. And I just want to show you around. So I've got my dual monitors here. I've got my Neumann microphone so that I can get that really sexy voice on my Chalk Talks. And behind me, I've got my analog video stuff. So I've got VHS and I've got Hi8 and I've got Mini DV. There's even a DVD player and a Sony monitor so I can show my color bars. Ooh, very 80s, right? And then on the other side, I've got my Marshall amp so I can whip out my electric guitar and just kind of start jamming if I get bored with ECGs. But of course that would never happen, right? So these Saturday morning live streams are not just about ECGs, it's about patients. It's a, they're, they're known as clinical live streams because I'm gonna be talking about the patient's history, their physical exam, uh, how do you diagnose problems and how do you manage arrhythmia problems. So I, I wanted to, make sure that I get my, my thought processes uh, out to you so you can kind of have a better idea of how to approach these kinds of clinical problems. I even have a second camera so I can go to the webcam and we can have a little bit more of a talk about what about, um, you know, what, and what would you do with this P wave? What do you think happened there? Why did the AV node do what it did? But it's not just about the cardiogram, it's about patients. It's about stories and it's about history and management and what to do with the cardiogram once you've actually read it. So I hope you enjoy meeting up with me on Saturday mornings. I usually have an international audience, so it's really cool. And, uh, and I hope to start next Saturday with my brand new setup and my cool new recording studio. So until then, I uh, hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon.